So I'm here at Arch 2 Pavilion West, which is Rocky Hill, Connecticut, right off of I-91. And this Tesla supercharger was built and ready some months ago, uh, but the transformer has been missing. And it looks like today, Asplen, the contractor, just lowered a transformer in place. Sorry about the loud traffic noise. And uh, there it is, the big green transformer. Uh, the meter actually uh, happened to meet the electrician from Eversource that put that meter on just last week. So I thought something might be happening and here it is. So that means here it is Wednesday, right before, it's August 31st, right before the Labor Day weekend. Who knows, maybe I'll actually have this like open um, in time for this super heavy travel weekend. And uh, you'll see the wire spools and stuff, all that stuff being cleaned up. The site's been ready and unwrapped for some days now for the last week where they took the uh, lids off the, the hoods. Now we're covering all the charging stalls and it was just a matter of getting electricity. You can see the wire running from a short pole right up to the power lines above right there. So we'll see what happens next. And there's a supercharger here located off of I-91. I live in the next town over in Wethersfield, Connecticut. And just about five hours ago, I happened to be driving by here because I have family in Rocky Hill. And here it is, a 1,000 or megawatt transformer that was just dropped off onto this pad. So this site has been waiting for electricity for about, well, several months. I'm not sure exactly how long. And they just powered it up and put in the meter last week and got the transformer going. If you look here, you'll see PVC pipe going up. And there's the leads going up there. 12 stalls through these cabinets that change from AC power to DC. Obviously a Corvette event today. Uh, I guess that's a parachute. Kind of funny. All right, a little noisy. Anyhow, imagine a year or two from now, you'll have Chevy Corvette electric cars charging here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So at that point, they are opening the supercharger network to all brands of cars. What timing? <laughs> Let me also point out a couple features here. This precast hunk of concrete is all assembled in one big chunk with four charging stalls and a cabinet here, the transformer. That all gets delivered in one piece, lifted right off the back of the truck. That way they have a lot less assembly work to do on site here. So there's three of these four stall sections. There's another four and another four. So that's 12 total charging stalls. And um, to finish this tour, I'll just point out the Tesla sign. The logo is not on, so these are not used up. Plugging in a Tesla will do nothing. And interesting. So every Wednesday in the summer, Corvette owners meet here. And uh, just kind of a funny collection <laughs> of uh, Americana, let's say, and people that love their cars. And it's just kind of interesting that within two years, there'll be plenty of electric Corvettes on sale. Bit of a maybe culture clash. So. Thank you for watching this quick video, a quick tour of a brand new V3 supercharger, 250 kilowatt station right here in Rocky Hill, Connecticut, within a mile of I-91, a quick exit and uh, late night access to bathrooms and food at that nearby restaurant called Arch 2. And I've got to go. Bye for now. So I'm here at the Rocky Hill supercharger. Uh, I drove by Wednesday, two days ago, September uh, 7th. No lights, no nothing. But now, if we look today, Still nothing, the other supercharger show. But I noticed that they're actually lit up. So I might be the very first to charge. Now this is a standard range plus. So we're about to find out together if it works. Um, a whole week ago, actually uh, last Wednesday, I think about 10 days ago, this 10,000 pound transformer showed up. The meter was installed the week before. Tesla had hoped to light it up right before the Labor Day weekend and couldn't for whatever reason. But I noticed the stickers are here. So it seems like 1A is the place to try the very first charge so let's give it a go does the button work yes that's a good sign and all right it works i haven't actually checked forms or whatever to see if i'm the very first person charging could be who knows actually before i look in the car i just want to have a look at the uh electric meter and uh my phone won't let me go wide angle once the filming started oh well so anyhow, the meter's over here. And let's see, we should see it doing something while also seeing its history. 
maybe evidence that I'm first or maybe test the test a little bit with the car, I don't know. So whatever that unit measure is, that might be a telltale sign that uh, I'm one of the first or maybe the very first, I don't know. No, I never really met a Tesla employee when they're actually testing or checking out the equipment. But I will say for sure that uh, this place was not lit up just 48 hours ago. And it is a Friday, so it seems like maybe Tesla lit this place up just hours ago today. Um, the units of measure are not shown there, so I think that's about it. I think we've rotated through everything now. I can hear a little bit of noise. Um, so if we go over to this cabinet, it's not going to do a full 250 because this is a standard range plus again and I don't even hear any fan noise yet so now let's have a look at the car up in here you'll see we're at the full no not the full anything 40 hmm. okay let's put that at uh, a more common say 90 and right now the car is at 69 so to go from 69 to 90 it's going to be a full 25 minutes at this slow speed so this car the car is quite full and we certainly did not precondition so it's scolding me for not preconditioning well you can't precondition when the charger doesn't show in the map so yeah uh tesla employee also told me that there's no more delay that the red dot should show up right away when charging is available at a location, but it did not. If we turn, you'll see the hotel across the street there. It's a slow charger. So anyhow, clearly we did nothing wrong. We just couldn't precondition. What I don't really know is if I arrived with a, with a the long range with a low battery, like 20, 30%, would I get the full 250 kilowatt? I would have to do that as a uh, separate test. Anyhow, so yes, is 27 kilowatts normal or are we being slowed because of maybe a, a problem with the charger? Don't really know, but I think everything's probably just fine. Quick tip, how do you get your car to precondition if you're not uh, seeing a supercharger on the map that you're heading to? Well, that's actually what I'm doing now. I've got a supercharger that's brand new and it doesn't even show on the map, two miles away. But I want to trick the car into preconditioning. So I'm at 31% and I'm going to pick the closest supercharger, which is 7.2 miles away, route myself to it. And what we should see is preconditioning started. Now, I'm in park, right? Oh, there you go. Even the car in park, right here, you can see I'm in park. It's preconditioning, so it's assuming I'm leaving momentarily for this supercharger, which is a mere 19 minutes away. Yeah, what I can do is actually show you where I'm actually headed. So if we do this, this is where I'm actually heading, and notice the preconditioning stops. You need to have the supercharger showing first. So did that screw things up? <laughs> I don't know. The word preconditioning, no, it's still there. And I can actually hear a slight uh, motor noise, something going on under the hood there. 19% of the battery there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go. I'm gonna go ahead and try to charge at the full supercharger V3 speeds. My battery is at 123 Fahrenheit. It has been preconditioned. And this should be a better test of my charging speed. So let's see how it goes. First of all, pushing the button. Yeah, there we go. And uh, let's see the light. Blue, blue, blue. Okay, green. Should ramp up pretty quickly here. Now we're watching the speed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 253 briefly. Never saw that before. Very briefly. But we are obviously fully operational at this Tesla Supercharger location. And there is nothing wrong with stall 1A at least. <laughs> I want to show you more realistic charge time. Usually you'd do like 80% on a trip. 90 would be unusual and particularly slow. So you can see I have only 20 minutes remaining. And it's only beginning to back off the 250 now that we've gotten almost to a 30%. So we get the full 250 kilowatts for a few minutes there. I don't know, two, three minutes. Pretty normal charge curve for a Tesla. I can hear the fan speed going on the front there, keeping the battery... Uh, cool down now because you don't want it to get too hot when you're dumping all the electricity into it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It makes it much more likely for others to find it on YouTube, which is super helpful. Even better, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.